Simon. Right here, this is probably a, a perfect example for a what if. For Eternal Fire, they'll go into map three, looking at it, saying we've played very well so far. Probably played above the level of what they normally play at. So for that reason alone, I think going into map three, things are promising for them. I still feel as if VP are going to take the series. Yeah, I, I'm, I kind of have to lean into you there on that front because it just feels like that for Virtus Pro they are the better squad in, overall. Like they just kind of have to be. Uh, they are the they are the top team in terms of the rankings in this tournament. So you kind of have to look at them and think that they are in position to take this series overall. But it really is a coin toss. Like even though VP are the favourites by technicality, Eternal Fire if they get off on the right foot, VP are in deep trouble. Knife round to start things off. And again, we mentioned earlier, Dwayne, that this. T-side start is probably going to be vitally important to both Eternal Fire and Virtus Pro. So we'll see where they go on this front. VP will be able to get the knife round. Will they choose to stick on CT or start on T? Uh, start on T, you would have to imagine. Both teams have got some fantastic T-sides over the course of this entire last few months. And actually, VP decided to start on the CT side. So there's not really a massive opportunity for them, I think, of grinding the early rounds. Could be a mistake starting on CT. Well, it could well be. The only way to find out whether it will be is to just get into the matchup and find out. It's the last map, the third map between Virtus Pro and Eternal Fire. What has already been a long one, and it will close out with a bang on Dust 2 to see who makes it into the quarterfinals. Pistol round coming out, Eternal Fire. Fast lean into the B-tunnels. And yeah, they've got plenty of opportunity here of just going for a B exec. Kalix has already given the inf the early information that there's one player that's moved over. What Eternal Fire don't know is that there's three on B. This is such a sick read from VP. Yeah, Kinder's going to start leaning forward to try to get some information out. Could lose his life for it. And indeed, Emor starts things off. Kill on Jay and Buster. Held back behind the blue box. His backup is going to try to get here, but they just get overwhelmed. Three-man stack. Who needs it? Certainly, Virtus Pro. They need a five-man stack to hold off against this Eternal Fire. 1v5 is kicker. Falls. Flip wondering what on God's green earth just happened. It's not that surprising when we know how strong Eternal Fire have been in pistols. The surprising element is the setup there. We've got three on B for VP. Maybe for Yakinda, it's almost a bait. Just try and see if you can draw the information. If it is a B exec, okay, he should get a one-for-one -one trade, and then everyone else can filter through. Instead, that just does not happen at all. Flip manages one kill. He's getting hunted down by players up in mid into the T-spawn area. Great shot even for a more. Went up to try and get themselves set up with the cross. Flip is close. M4 ready for T side. Nice nade to body block it, and that lands on two players as well. A lot of damage being done to Eternal Fire here. Molotovs will force forward. Flick will try to do the same, but Kicker able to get his trade against X Fountain and Zantaris. Moxic and Calix both out towards that long position. The team has got an M4. The Shadow seeing the Mac 10 can find a frag and find an exit point here in this round. We'll try to have to get a triple. Maybe get support from his backup. Fall back towards CT spawn to rejoin James, who will also hold the cross. No smokes, or one smoke for the cross, actually, for Woxing. It means that they can't block it all. Far cross out, the Molotov's down, it landed a bit too far as well. There's a big, big gap to work with. And they're going to utilize it to perfection. Calix falling next, Woxing already legged by the AWP. No time to pop the bomb either, and Buster almost gets the shot on the jump fade. That is the one thing in Counter-Strike that makes no sense in real life, Jay. <laughs> Well, true to form, it's been. <laughs> I don't know if he's been taken out or whether people just stopped using it, honestly. And Flit. Found on the first frag. A turn of fire, starting off with the entries, picking up one towards the longhouse. A bit aggressive from him, he was in longhouse itself. Next player back, all the way on the site itself. X Cloud and Kicker, and Jame come back with responsives, so a two for two trade here. Driving him away from the site and from the back lines. Bomb should be secured and should be planted pretty easy. There's not really much more that we're getting close to, though. If you want to take it in the sense of a, uh, a broader perspective, it has always been. We have both rifles out here. You can see one of them is looking down range. That's Jane with the AWP trying to spot players over towards Pip. No one's giving up position though. The smokes go down and the crosses. The standard stuff from Eternal Fire. Jane looking to try and line them up. They're all kind of lining up themselves. Kicker does get one frag. Jane with a secondary pick back. Overwhelmed by Zantara. So both the rifles have been dropped. Yakinda boosted up at elevator. Pixels away from spotting Emo. Same thing can be said for him. And the P250 finds a pick. Now Flit will look in. X found on a late lurk out towards the B side. I think it's being marked off there by Buster. But he'll still find an angle. Find Flit. See Yakinda as well. Call that in for Zantara's information to two on two. Unable to really find an angle though. The Molotovs will try to see if they can drive him right out of that corner. Buster saw sat in the spawn itself as Antares just tried to hunt for that player. We'll check angle, we'll get his kill. Should be able to get the bomb plant as well. 
And for no investment, they are going to be able to get away with a fair amount of damage. They even get the kill on edge foul. So one on one, does Buster try and clutch this? You might as well go for it. There's no point in saving onto the M4. You're going to buy into the next round. And it comes down to the angles. Zentara is looking in towards CT for the tune for Buster. Needs to get the immediate headshot. It just doesn't happen. He'll get there anyway. Kekoto's backed off thanks to that smoke. Used up the Zentaris. See nothing as he's run across past Elbow, flash into the site. We'll catch vision on one man in the bat lines. It's James that gets Kallax instead and kicks things off with a kill with the CT forces. Flit having his head tucked away still. The counter flashes will be in play. And the teaser try for a rotate instead out towards mid. Kicker can catch his information or he can even catch a kill. And VP just know what's going on there. As soon as that orb pick comes in, you re-smoke into the mid doors. Kick it just overextending slightly. There's still two players on B and for eternal fire, it is going to be the B split. The well, last time they had three players on this B site, it wasn't quite good enough. Buster might not be detected. X Flower gonna look out in the open. They see him now. He gets two kills for his trouble. Spots the third player as well. Emo desperately hunting for the pickback. The AWP of Voxic will try cut off rotations, and Buster only gets away with damage left. The Voxic orb chimes in, and it all leaves it on James to clutch. T side start to get themselves set up on the right foot to game. Zentaris just jump facing away from the CZ. Spray does not connect with the CZ itself. And that allows Zentaris and Woxit to combine for the kill. Well placed there with shots from the VP side and kicker. Also struggling to get killed off here. He actually gets turned around for it. So it'll be a four on four with a HP advantage for VP this time. Yeah, this looks incredibly promising. That is a beautiful kill onto the B player. That's so needed because that now opens up the bomb site. It allows them to have a safe route in. Otherwise, for VP, this round looked very winnable for a moment. Flit caught next by Zentaris. On two situation as VP. You mentioned that had a lot of potential in this round. It doesn't look like they're going to live up to it. They have got the rifles in for both players. Hmm. Pick up with the AK, the AWP in for Jame. Jame is watching ahead of the car position. They're both out towards that A site. That shot will indicate the rotation. So VP just don't even hold on to the AK and the AWP. Best they can do here. 6 1 up. Eternal fire. Potential for the Turkish squad. Now, this is the master question right here, Jay. Because Alex, this time, a bit of a, slight, a slightly better start here for Virtus Pro. They're still trying to bait in this orb shot for Jame, oh, and it's successfully lovely. a kill for the CT side. Yeah, that's a fantastic opener. And that now starts putting some pace into Eternal Fire of getting some map control up to this short position, start putting pressure on some of the A players. Now, for VP, it's been a while since we've seen an opening man advantage from them, and Santaris is just running with this. Straight into the bomb site, not going for a plant. He hasn't got the bomb in his bag. Yeah, Ikindar's still going to spot him. Shot down as he gets the lead of the box. He's not expecting a player to be there at the goose position. He drops the bomb carrier as well. Kalix at the end of the smoke itself will try and utilize this gap here, but no CT is going to give it up. He swings on Yakindar. He gets his triple. Just going to take that with a breeze. Woxic finds Buster out towards mid. Another great start for Eternal Fire in terms of these rounds. Looking for a bit more, lands that shot on Flit. An engagement against Jamie. Is it going to be a third shot that connects to a kill? Yes, it will be. Five on three, Eternal Fire. Eternally fragging. And Nemo should grab this AK. Smoke down towards the CT spawn. We'll try to cut off the likes of Kicker here. Two players on the B site. So in terms of potential of Avertus Pro, they've got the best setup they can possibly find without just hard stacking a site. Flash is in, Flip finds x Foul looking for a second man, reface the M4, sees Kallax, he turns back towards Emor and turns the whole situation around, what's it caught? Coming back to counteract them, and the one smoke goes down towards the doors, that baits in a little bit of utility, they've got a second wave incoming. They've got another smoke in for your Kindar, so he can re-smoke in for those upper tunnels, try and see if they can drive some more util away, Eternal Fire, they're not going to give up on this. Flash is in, F4 out, break kill for your Kindar, can't double it up. And yes, he can actually. Buster, the bait and switch, get him out of dodge here. Four versus three. Your Kindar looking for a triple, but he gets overwhelmed by Wotzik, and Kalix finds a response to the man advantage. Three on two. Yes, they're tagged, but VP are so far away from the B site. Yeah, that was such an aggressive move to come through from Kick It, pushing through the B doors like that. Just trying to see if they can create a lot of chaos, try and have that providing element onto your Kinder. Honestly, I think looking for exit frags is the best option here. Don't go for the retake, but see if there's more damage that can be found.
Lash forward, Woxic. Having to turn his attention towards the upper tunnels area. Flip remains in position as the T's do try and get out of dodge. Jane with the AWP will try hold off exits. That's the best that they can do at the moment. Eternal Fire will get seven rounds. Oh, missed shot from Jane here. They're going to hunt him. He gets the kill away from Woxic. I think he'll be able to maintain his life. He's going to ref. AK of Yekindar leans up. Calyx punishes. Opening frag again goes the way of Eternal Fire. VP trying to force the issue out. Have landed a second player up towards top mid, and they aren't accounting for this, actually. I think that uh, Tantaris has turned around for this. Yeah, he's ready to receive Flitz. This will be another kill punished again for the aggression. They see the shadow, and somehow Flit comes out with the bomb carrier dropped and incendiary to stall for time, and he re-aggresses. Will Calyx get him again? No, he won't. Flit's got to be careful how much he peeks into this. He's already got the bomb position, and finally x Flower takes him down. Play ...in case there is a late rotation, like what we're seeing from now. Thirty seconds to the clock. We'll slow walk into the mid control. Molotov out towards short, recognizing they haven't got time to keep going slow. They're going to just charge right in through the mid to be onto the B site. Buster waiting back at Carl. Be the first contact kicker. Also to lean out from the tunnels. He'll get himself back away when the smoke's down. They haven't checked this car position at all. He's completely ducked away and kick up. We'll get a kill back in. Buster denies the bomb plant. That's it. That's round one by VP. Pressure comes in towards lower tunnels. That might catch Zentaris off guard. The main T side force though focuses entirely on that long control. Yeah, VP have done a lot of these plays, but Eternal Fire don't always know that they've actually come through. Your Kinder on the angle deals with the big man of Xantara's. And now for this long take, do they even clear out this car position? Flick could be the element they're not even checking. I love that uh, crosshair placement as well towards lower tunnels from Yakinda. He recognized that Tantaris was going to go down for the duck face and Flick gets two more picks for it. Sees Calyx and Emor now has all the info to rotate the entire CT force back here and go for the stack. Smokes are in. Flick can maintain his position for now. Jay now jump faces sees them. Both Kiko gets his next kill on Emor and Calyx all the way back at pit. One on five. No kills for Eternal Fire here in round 13 as VP look to shut them down and find six. Jay looking at the CT side and the entire T force goes their way up into the tunnels. There's a shot from James straight up with the aggression. Smokes to cover him off. AK now for Yakinda. Rest into the corner. Flashbang turned away from it. She gets the kill back, but he is continuously blind. So they can find a pick against him. The AWP struggles to find another frag. I think actually XFAB did fall. A four on two. They grab that AK at least for a turn of five. But what can they do with it now that they've just been bracketing, sandwiched in by the CT forces? Apparently, hit the shot on Buster and open up the B site. That's an important kill. James going to look to start pre-aiming in. Gets baited out by Kalex. Needs to try and hit the follow-up. Got to be careful about how far he overextends because he doesn't have a lot of teammates behind him. He might just have to give up the respect and say, hey, get the bomb down. We'll just retake. Aren't sure being secured. Kalex dead and buried. Wok's going to one versus three. Can't hold off. Flit. Taurus a little bit further back. Trying to jump phase here in the footsteps. Kindar knows that he's out here, and Zantaris gets the all-important opening frag. Can take a nade back for damage, but it's a 5-on-4 for EF. Now we saw that exact... EP wait with three players over on this A site, two of them together at Goose. This could be an unorthodox player that could catch a tunnel fire off guard here. They're going in for the short commitment, so we are going to move towards this. Cindy down. Suppressed for the time being. 30 seconds for the hit. Oh, this is so cheeky. I love this base oh. setup. And actually, it's the HG that deals with Zantaris. They've even got Jane with the orb posted on the angle. Hot off to the back of the ramp. Flit still watching. Kick up his eyes turned away. And Flit still sprays. Woxic picks him up. And they think it's clear. Calix with his back turned. And Kick up's not pulling the trigger. He's going to wait for both of them to line up. Look for Woxic. Get Calix. Odds and Taris and Woxic still waiting here. And Yakinda. Head to pop up, shot connects, Woxic opens up, Flit might not be aware of the position, or the Zantaris and co might not be able to trade him back, the flashbangs over will drive them away, they continue to reface, but it takes some damage, the advantage sits with the F. That's a great dual setup coming through from the CTs, and they're actually going to continue to over-aggress, this is where they could get caught off, Flick now going to drop by Zantaris, and a total fire, just get out of there, play the numbers game. Taps on from Jamie. Moore gets tagged up so heavily. They hear where Kalex is coming from and the kills pour in. Watson and Kalex to fall. Still got Emor lows and Taurus caught on his back turn towards the short position. On elbow is watching the long angle. 40 seconds. VP have got a three on three and a HP advantage to boot. 
And they've still got a smoke and a molly, so that could go down on the short side, get the molly out to the site or to ramp. Plenty of options, and actually that molly's going to go down to slow the rotation, give that information over, and Moore's down to 22 now. 22 seconds to the clock. Smoke on the position. Emor going to rotate. Be that first rotator. X Flower's going to be the man to hold off. He's going to get this kill in against Buster. Now Jane forces forward. Kicker does catch Emor. X Flower running out of ammo. Forced on the reload. It's going to get overwhelmed with Kicker to get that. Toxic. Sees angle. Lands the perfect headshot. What a start for him. Doming in the head of your kinder. Yeah, that has been relatively quiet over the course of this one. He started to pick it up with the latest that he did for the last half. The five on four game for Eternal Fire, though. Yeah, an all-important pick. And now for BP, they can start working a split towards A. Great swing coming through from Flit. And now that opens up kick, it's opportunity of getting more damage into Shaw. Calix, Steve shot on towards Buster. Zentaris also strikes on kicker. Jamin and Flit now working their way up towards long. They have got smokes down, nades involved. They will evade the kills though. The plant will be secured. And this might be a tagged up set of CTs, but this is still a retake that can work for Eternal Fire. They haven't got a kit, so time will be against them, but everything else is in their favor. Uh, Flit's going to have to step up here. He's the one with the AK. He's got to get the majority of the kills. A lot of damage coming through. Jane with the scout going to get involved. Now it's just down to him. 1v3 position. Ooh. Out from Long deals with another. And now we can just play time. Jump fade is going to give away his information. Let's go back up. Can't hit the shot onto X Cloud. Block pulled out as well. Up close range and personal. Needs to hit them perfectly. All stall for time. The bomb's not planted for him anymore. Sees the jump face. X Cloud going to stick to the fuse. James, scout out. Needs to land a quick close. Oh, quick scope out towards the man. X Cloud gets off the bomb. And that's going to be enough. Jay might not survive, but he gets the round together. VP. It's mostly the T-side forces down towards the tunnel. It's Woxit with a kill on kicker, finishing off the job he started at the very start of the round. Centaurus turns that Deegan in towards Flint, and now Jane drops off, pulls x out attention back towards the mid control. The bomb tries to exit out. Jane's got a bit of trouble, though, because he's got three CTs to deal with directly, and Calix lets him walk no further than the mid doors. 17 seconds. The bomb should cross. It should get planted. Eternal Fire again are at the advantage for the retake, though. Uh, they're going to need someone to really step up. This is still going to be a difficult one, even if it is a three versus two. Your kinder's on low HP, so Buster's going to have to step up. Turn away from, let's see the one. Face back, your kinder with a frag. And Buster needs to step up with a second of his own. He will be able to do so. Then Tyrus that are training your kinder now out towards car. A known entity, AK versus Galil. And the Galil wins the control from VP in this round. They're all out along. And even walking forward with those cross smokes, you've got one player to defend of Zantara's. At least he's in a decent position to do some damage. Probably needs more help, and at least he's bringing Kallax's attention over. Flash bang, no smokes down to the CT cross. They'll put one up there, jump face one individual. Zantaris with a nade out. I don't think he was detected. The nades and the damage rains in against several players. Yakinda's low, Flit's dead. Five players still completely unscathed for Eternal Fire. Flash forward. Zantaris going to see so many. He transfers back, makes it a quad. Might hurt Kalix in terms of his long term economy. In terms of this round, though, it's a full buy back. Nade, so perfect for X Flower. Emor can line them all up. Here they go, ripped apart. Emor and X Flower combined, drop that bomb. Incendiary to stall and the CTs can rotate right back into that damage. Okay, your kinder takes a little bit of damage back. Smokes on, falls forward, flick will win this first fight. Absolutely not gonna happen. X Cloud with two more picks to his name. Jame tagged. See if they can filter the Deagles in as a bait to set up Jane with the orb. Utility passed off to allow Jame a chance to peek up here with Buster. Boosting him up. AWP for the run boost. Looks to be the case. Tara sees what's coming and adjusts so well! Oh, that's just disgusting! In the walk, sees he more. We'll take that fight against Flit, which will dish out the damage. And Tara's could get caught. Your kinder snuck his way in deep. And the CTs weren't expecting that at all. Emo caught with his pads down. Plant will be secured, and these two players on the CT side have no choice but to save. Uh, just imagine what the side line. Of course, they are literally a door away. Just hoping that someone gives up something here. He's keeping his head turned away in case of flashes, but neither player will reveal position pro. Incendiary might drive him back, though. That's a great play from Zantaris. But it's going to push forward of it, though. Zantaris might not get caught off guard. And indeed, oh. he does alongside Kallax falling. What a sequence. Oh, that crosshair placement is everything from... Gonna have to step up for a multi-frag. 
Nikindar turns on what Signex's is back turn, so focused on a long control. The Orpa trying to get out of dodge. That bomb's got an easy line in his kick out. We'll find them all. Leaving X Flower alone on the east side. Tapped up by. Ray is blinded, not connecting to anything here. Waiting with the orbs. Flashes go over. X Flower in at car. Drops one and two and the bomb. AWPs now with the support. Coming with those kills. An eternal fire just crumble VP into dust. Yikinda left out towards house to hold on to the AK. There's nothing left for him in this round. Eternal fire. 13 apiece. They equalized against VP once again. Fours as standard. Set up with a single or all AK. So first pro and your Kindar's caught first. Walks it with the peek in. Kindar to bow out. Five on four gain. I'm on top to indicate that they might go for a very fast hit back here. Nade placement again. Freeman's been great. He does a ton of damage. The shots blind past the smokes. Allows Woxic to get a kill ahead of him. Flip with one frag. And he more so close. He has the bomb in his sights once again. Woxic gets another good kill. Trades are good for the Vertus Pro side. But it's still down by a man. Buster caught next. All on Jay. Eternal Fire have looked pretty fantastic. I mean, it's not all VP being terrible. This is Eternal, Eternal Fire. I have to brace themselves because VP will get here. Is that another Incendio? It's a HE instead. That'll catch damage up to your Kindar a little bit onto Kicker as well. And the blind to Ravers and Taurus comes up good. One kill found. Kicker's going to make his way out towards Elba. The smokes are up in position. Kalex finds another pick. A five on three. Kicker will get the bomb down ahead of the short boxes. James is hoping that Zentaris goes for an overextension. He needs this kill and that's what he'll get. Uh, James got to try and back up the teammate that's stuck there in that default position. Kicker's really got no option but to try and just fight in this one. Buster's keeping eyes up on short. So back passive, no one's at car. Kicker's not wary of that though. Jane with the face, Emor looking for Buster, gets it. Buster gets one of the way out. James runs back in as well. Kicker with a spray, looks for the 2K and he'll get it. And VP equalize again. Situation that needs to come through. Great shot for Emor. James down. When they're starting frags, the T try to get aggressive, but so do the CT. Just cut them off for it. The Kindar ahead of Xbox will get himself up towards short. Shot missed out for Emor again. At least they get away with one this time on the T side line. Yakinda forces Antares off angle. He's going to try to give chase to the man. Molotov's in. Antares forced to use that smoke, but it's the AWP of Woxit that gets the moment to shine. At elbow, he sees one. Antares caught, damaged up. The Molotov keeps him at bay. A counter smoke back to buy a bit more cover for the T side line. They've committed the bomb for the A site at this stage, and Antares is going to fall. 4v4. They can try to get access and get the bomb plant. Meanwhile, Buster out towards mid gets caught by X Floud. It seemed as if they wanted to have a late rotation. They might still even do that. They've left your kinder up onto this A-site. The bomb's gone back to mid. And if he gets a kill on Kalix, that might be enough. Flashbang's turned away from. Kalix is still focusing on your kinder. If he gets this kill, this could change the complexion of everything. And Kalix wins it. Two left standing for Virtus Pro. They might need a bomb plant at least at this stage. Get that much out to bonus and bolster the economy. Alex just waits. Get to the ramp position. 30 seconds. Slow walks. Bomb plant priority. Kickers hunting for more. There is Kalex seen. No, he's not. Woxic drops the bomb. That's all important. Flitz. Trying to clutch this, but will not go any further than this. Gonna see if he could drive some of those rotations over. Pull Zantaris to stay here at A to allow them to walk out of mid and split into B. Two smokes, all for your back. So one out by Jane. That might be everything. Zentara to force forward, try catch the guard. The backs are turned. Everyone's backs are turned. And the CTs ripped them apart. Jane with one trade, one player in the tunnels. X Flower versus Buster. Buster's going to get this kill. But Jane drops, and the bomb is directly in the doors. Buster got to win these fights individually in 17 seconds to do so. Bomb picked up. Seen there, sprayed up. Kalix closes. An eternal fire. Fight an absolute. War 